Allie Luther was very nervous. Her daughter had never had a haircut before, and her first one was vital. Surgeons had to remove hair from the child's head, from her neck, excuse me, to make room for a life-changing incision. Even in her nervousness, Allie had peace. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Bradenton with a family with a deep connection to their daughters and its favorite song. Even if you're not a churchgoer, you've probably heard this iconic hymn of faith. Amazing Grace, a favorite of Allie Luther. I was in high school and I just fell in love with the song Amazing Grace and I said, you know, if I ever have a little girl, her name will be Grace. I think it was pretty crazy. Grace Luther is six. And I think it's pretty cool that I get to be named after a song. A song with more meaning than ever. Little kids don't have neck pain. But your daughter did. Uh, horribly. And it had to be terrifying. It was terrifying. I would wake up in the middle of the night crying because it was hurting my neck. I had a brain tumor about the size of a lime. It was just getting more and more scary and more and more, you know, that feeling of like, I really want to keep her. For months, it's all Allie could think of until a midweek church service. I just remember praying God, like, if she's gonna be okay, can we sing Amazing Grace? And it was the very next song. So, and that was it. And I just, I just sobbed because it was, it was just such a resounding yes. Like, yes, she will be okay. I've got this. Surgery was successful. The recovery, remarkable. Grace's recovery was even faster than expected. I mean, I think, um, you know, we actually had to slow her down. <laughs> Simply put, and Grace. amazing. I lived through a brain tumor. Normally people will be messed up because of brain tumors. Does that song mean more to you than ever now? Oh, yeah, we, she and I sing it and we cry. It just, it feels different, it really does. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Unbelievable, Unbelievable story. Grace had brain surgery at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. She gets MRI scans every four months. So far, no signs of that tumor. Thank Isn't that God. great? She's uh, returned to her favorite activities, which are dance and soccer. Ryan joins us now. What coming up at six? What's going on? Bobby Lewis, why you gotta make me cry on this oh, Friday? Right? Oh, Lee. My Lord.